All I want for Christmas is to never, ever have to walk into a Walmart ever again. This message is for anybody who hangs out or is part of the r uh, anti-work subreddit. Uh, let me know if my expectations on this are rational or if I'm being a Karen. I Let's get into it. Today I had to go to Walmart. Uh, unfortunately, I really tried to not go there, but I needed the money order because the large apartment complex that I'm applying at doesn't take cash or card. That's a different story. But I went in. Obviously, there's all kinds of just rotten consumerism going on. A hundred million people there. Everybody's grabbing things off the shelves. Everybody's in the way. Nobody cares about anything else except for where they're standing in the middle of the aisle. All that aside, I waited there. I didn't wait too long. It was, I mean, it was a couple minutes. Um, there were like six or seven people in line. They got through it pretty quickly. But I get there and guess what? The money order machine's broken. I don't understand how a money order machine can be broken because it's just a piece of paper that's printed and has a stamp on it. But it's broken. At a major Walmart in, I'm in Lynchburg, Virginia. There are, there are actually three Walmarts in the area. It tells you how big it is. But it's one of the main three. No money orders at all. Nobody can get money orders, but it's still on the display, and the display is a giant TV that's just a website or something. Like, it's just like a page that scrolls through, so they couldn't even be bothered to... So here's where my issue is. I work at at and I've worked at major companies before in the past, and I'm always... It makes me sick that these companies are so rich, and they have so much money. They could literally... They're like countries on their own half the time. But if something goes wrong, they cannot be bothered to let people know or to change things out or to order a new one or anything. They just let it sit there broken. And then if somebody needs it, they're like, oh, sorry, you waited. It's broken. Bye. Next person. Like they, there's zero care at all. And I think it's really reflective of how people are treated and uh, it works into that whole, you know, what the whole subreddit's about and equal treatment and pay and all that stuff. But I think if a company, if it's not a small business, even, even a mid-sized business, I would accept. But if you're a multi-billion dollar worldwide influencing business then there is absolutely no excuse for you to have systems go down, to not accept Google Pay, to have machines broken, to give people like half-assed solutions to their problems, to like to have terrible customer service. There's no reason for any of this. They literally have the best and the most expensive resources on the planet that exist in this timeline. There is literally no reason for any of these companies to be treating people this way. I think that's fair. Now, I don't take it out on somebody who's helping me because that person can't change it. Just like me standing at at and can't decide whether or not you get a phone. But somebody up in Oblivion did, who makes 12 times more than I do and has no bearing on reality except for the fact that they get to make the rules. So I don't take it out on them, which would make me a Karen, which is why I don't think I'm a Karen. But I see I have zero, I see absolute zero reason why these companies should have this much money and this terrible service. This service that's this bad. I just, I don't get it. I do not understand. 